Hey, Scott, Machine Gun Dad. I'm going to give you a little buyer's tip today. Last couple days, uh, I was on the trips and stuff, so I had a lot of downtime in the hotel room. And uh, I've been on the auction sites looking around. Nothing I can really afford, but I saw quite a few of these. Well, let's say 10 or 12 of these. I don't know if that's quite a few. And one of the things I noticed is one of the things that this video is about. This is right. This one here is a um, pre in between the war. I don't know what you would call Weimar Republic era gun. And I don't know if Gary can pick the finish up or not. But the finish is it's worn, but it's not really pitted. I'll take into account the grips were shot. These are replacement grips. Okay. And it's a mitch, it, it's a mismatched gun. So. Actually, no, I'm wrong. It's it, 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 at least the two numbers I can see match. You see a, a gun on the auction site like this, and you say, oh, my God, that's broom handle. I should buy that. Well, there's a big thing that I noticed that at least four of the listings didn't have list. Bore condition. On a miles of broom handle for a newbie. I'm sure the people who know broom handles aren't even going to watch this freaking video. But the, for a newbie, you want to get a, a, a broom handle. And you have a P38 or a Luger. Well, if they have a bad barrel, you can replace it, especially on a P38. You cannot replace the barrel on a broom handle. This is all milled out of one solid piece. So when I got this gun, I'm like, oh, just put new grips on it. So I cleaned the bore. Absolutely no rifling. Zero rifling. So I set it out and I had the barrel sleeved. And once they sleeve the barrel, point of impact is where point of impact is. Because if you notice, there's no adjusting this on the front. There's no adjusting for windage on the back. So, you see one of these, it's in this condition. Let's say it has the good grips. And the bidding starts at $800. You get it for $850. You think, oh my god, I did great. Broom handles are usually $1,200, $1,300. Then you pay your auction premium, and you're over a thousand. And then you pay to have the barrel sleeved for four hundred or five hundred dollars, and it doesn't even shoot straight. When you're bidding on a broom handle, before you even get into all the idiosyncrasies of march, matching numbers or whatever, you want to have that guy who's selling it tell you if you can't look at it, you want to at least know what the barrel or the bore looks like, because. If this gun, if I hadn't had it sleeved, yeah, it'd have been a probably six, eight hundred dollar gun, maybe a thousand dollar gun if the grips were were original. With the sleeved barrel, I don't know what this would be worth because it doesn't shoot true to point of impact. It shoots off to the left, and I can't do anything about that. Remember, buying a broom handle. I don't care if it's a nine millimeter broom handle, or a thirty caliber broom handle, or a regular broom handle, or whatever. If the bore shot, the gun's not worth crap. Check the bore before you even consider anything else, unless you're parting the gun out. Again, I hope I help somebody, and I hope somebody that's new to the hobby, this keeps them from being disgusted with a shitty purchase. Hit the like and subscribe button, give YouTube a root around, and maybe I'll finally make 5,000 subscribers. Thanks again.